mediocre people don't like high achievers, and high achievers don't like mediocre people. And if you let those things coexist in your organization, you're never going to have any kind of team chemistry. What does it take to win? Good game plan, good preparation, good system on offense and defense, ability to adapt and adjust during the game. But you know what my answer always is? It's mindset. It's how you think. It's the vision that you have for what you want to accomplish. You know, some people want to climb Mount Everest. That's their vision. Someone else like Michael Johnson would spend a thousand hours taking one-tenth of a second off his 400 meter time so he could win two gold medals, the 200 and the 400, instead of one. But whatever your vision is, and you know, we have two sets of eyes. We have the eyes that see everything that happens, and we have the eyes of the soul, all right, which is really what's important to us, what we want to accomplish and what we want to do, and what our vision is. And once you have that, then you have to be committed to a process, all right, which is the things that you have to do to be successful at whatever that vision is. It can be something as simple as, I want to lose 20 pounds. Well, it's easy to find a defined process of what you have to do to do that. It's not difficult to find. But the third thing, and the, the thing that most people struggle with most, is you have to have the discipline to execute day in and day out. Most people have a vision. They can define what it takes to accomplish the vision, but can they execute it? Do they have the di discipline to make the right decisions? And what is discipline? Then what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done. But more specifically for all of us, and I think what I use with the players so that they can relate to it, is I have this little thing over here that I know I'm supposed to do, but I really don't want to do it. Can you make yourself do it? Then I have this little thing over here that I know I'm not supposed to do, but I want to do it. Can you keep yourself from doing it? Now, these decisions we can relate to all of us because we probably make a hundred of those every day. And those choices and decisions certainly determine whether we can stay committed to a process that's going to help us accomplish the vision that we have. So your mindset is very, very important. And once you can do all those things, can you stay focused on the process or will you get overcome by the circumstances? But a few years ago when Chuck Pagano, the coach of the Indianapolis Colts, who's a good friend of mine, got diagnosed with cancer, actually couldn't coach during the season, uh, the team went on and got in the playoffs and he did the locker room speech uh, where he talked about vision and circumstance. And he says, my vision is is that I can see my daughters grow up and I can dance at their wedding. My circumstance is I have cancer. I think that's the greatest example of what I'm talking about. You know, we go out to practice and we're playing for a championship and it's cold outside and all anybody can focus on is the circumstance of the weather. This is what I'm talking about, simple things. Can you stay focused on the things that are gonna help you accomplish what you wanna do? And to me, that is the most difficult thing to get young people, especially, to do today. And it takes a lot of leadership. And you know, what is leadership? First of all, be someone that somebody wants to emulate. Set a good example. And you cannot be a good leader if you don't care about other people, because you have to be willing to listen. And just listen for three things. And I say feel, felt, found. I know how you feel. I felt that way before. Here's what I found out. If you just do that for somebody, you will help them so much. And to serve someone else, you have to care. And you can't be a good leader if you're not willing to serve other people. Some of the problems that we have that I read about on a daily basis in our country probably could be solved if people just made a commitment to a common goal. And they were together in spirit and how they wanted to attack that.